Welcome back to JSA TV, the newsroom for tech, telecom, and data center professionals. I'm Buffy Harakidis, and we are live from Channel Partners 2023 in glamorous Las Vegas. And joining me today is the queen of the channel. Uh, we have Kelly Danzinger. She is the VP and general manager of Channel for Informatech, overseeing Channel Futures, the Channel Partners Expo. Kelly, it's such an honor to have you here, my friend. Oh, Welcome to you. JSA TV. Thank you so much. It's wonderful to be here with you. Yeah, for sure. And this show is the biggest to date, right? We were just yes. chatting. Why don't you tell viewers a little bit more about the evolution of Channel Partners mm -hmm. and uh, where we are today. Absolutely. So we are absolutely thrilled with the turnout of this event. We have seen this event double in size um, over the past three years. We just surpassed 8,000 attendees to this year's event. Wow. Uh, 348 sponsors and exhibitors. Um, it has just been an outstanding, an outstanding reception from our community. And we've really, over the past number of years since we've added the MSP Summit to Channel Partners Conference and Expo, we are the only event in the world that's bringing the entire channel together. I mean, it is the biggest and best channel event in the world, for sure. And I've had the opportunity and the privilege to see it grow with you uh, over yeah. these years. And this by far is the best channel partners ever. Uh, I mean, you. the floor is buzzing. There's so much to do, um, not only you know here on the expo floor, but all the meeting rooms are packed. Mm -hmm. um, and we're honored to be here as a partner. For, uh, we love uh, our partnership yeah. with you. And we, we honor it and love it as well. We are so proud to be here. Um, is there anything new on the agenda this year that you want to tell viewers about? Yes. So, so we just um, we've just read, we just had happening a little while ago our cybersecurity peer group, and that was another packed room. Mm -hmm. And this is something we're actually looking to expand, and hopefully we'll be announcing some bigger partnership coming down the pike on that because we're finding cybersecurity as we do our MSP five hundred one research, right. and we also do our research with the um, TA one hundred one. The biggest area and the hottest concerns and challenges that folks are having are around cybersecurity. And whether you're an agent or whether you're MSP or VAR, cybersecurity is, is, is the top of mind for everybody. Mm -hmm. So our cybersecurity peer group, super excited about that. Um, with our MSP summit, we've been holding training sessions that Lendi Costanza has been running. And those are two packed standing room only. And those are really dealing with issues that are around what the MSPs are focused yeah. on. And many of the MSPs are really, they're, they're tech builders. They know how to build the tech stack. They know how to troubleshoot the technology problems. But the areas that they're not the strongest at is running the business, like sales and marketing. Okay. So we've really been focusing a lot with our MSP Summit on providing those, those training skills around the sales and marketing and running a business. I mean, that's so important. And MSPs have, you know, tripled, quadrupled in size over this Absolutely. past decade for sure, for sure. And cybersecurity is definitely at the forefront. Mm -hmm. um, you see it everywhere. I mean, I've seen hackers suck hashtag from Telesystem <laughs> to, you know, having these rooms packed with uh, so many critical, important topics around cybersecurity. So that's wonderful that you guys are really bringing these topics Absolutely. to the for forefront and helping MSPs grow and expand their business, um, especially when it comes to sales and marketing. So mm -hmm. that's wonderful. Um, what's up for, you know, the coming months? I know that we're heading to Europe soon yes. and we have some big event coming up in the fall in Miami. We do. Want to tell viewers a little bit about that? Absolutely. So our next event is uh, mid-June in London, and this is our Channel uh, Partners UK event, right. and it's really not just focusing on the UK partners, but the EMEA-based partners, and we are part of our London Tech Week, which is a bigger event that um, takes place through in our corporate entity in Forma Tech. So there's a number of different technology events that happen mm -hmm. during that week in London that help bring partners 
partners and, and users together. So we'll be heading o- across the pond in a few weeks. And then the big event that we've got coming up is our Channel Leadership Summit, which we're super excited about. This will be our second year of this. Mm-hmm. Um, this was really... As we came out of COVID, we we knew we needed to do something different with the fall yeah. event. For so many years, our fall conference almost had an identity crisis. You know, we, we went through a number of iterations on this, and mm-hmm. sometimes it felt like it was like Channel Partners Junior. Yeah. And we it was hard to replicate what we do here in Las Vegas. So, you know, after COVID, we had this opportunity to reinvent and relaunch. And last year, the goal was to have MSP Summit as our fall event. Okay. But once we held it at, at that one event we could do post COVID and we came, we put it here and co-located it in Vegas, the response was so overwhelming. People are like, don't take it away. We need it. So as we were trying to build last year's fall event, it was supposed to strictly be MSP summit. And then my agent community is like, Hey, you can't, can't alienate us. So we knew we had to bring in a leadership component that would also speak to our, our, our unified communications and telecommunications mm-hmm. clients. But then we had the conversation with Cassie Jepson um, okay. from uh, Alliance of Channel Women. Yeah. And I sit on the board of ACW and we wanted to do more than just have a panel discussion during ACW. So one conversation backstage with Bobby and myself and, and Cassie turned into a whole women's leadership summit. So The fall conference is just a beautiful event, um, and it's all around leadership, whether you're a woman looking for leadership and looking for training and mentoring, or you're an MSP looking for additional training and leadership, or you're coming from the agent side of the house. So we're really, really excited about that. And we'll be at the Fountain Blue, which is gorgeous. It's another beautiful resort. It is. (laughs) They're actually building one here, too, I heard. Yes, I heard that as well. But uh, so when is the Miami event? So we are October 28th, October 28th. two weeks after my daughter's wedding. Oh, boy. Yes, this is going to be fun. <laughs> well, congratulations in advance you. to your daughter. You. And we will certainly be there. JSA will be there you. in Miami. And the London event, um, Channel Partners Europe is? Oh, yeah, June 14th. June 14th. So lots of great things ahead Absolutely. for Channel Partners and Formatech. We're so honored to be your partner, Kelly. And you mentioned a little bit about Alliance of Channel Women. Mm -hmm. ACW, I'm a member, I've been a member um, for several years and I've seen that grow as well, right? Mm -hmm. So last night we took over the ballroom Mm -hmm. um, where it used to be in like just a small meeting room. And that that has grown significantly. We were actually talking to Ashley a little bit, Ashley Cole uh, from the events chair a little Mm -hmm. bit earlier. But having you on the board is amazing. Is there anything you want to add about ACW today? Oh, ACW is amazing. Amazing. So last night we had over 500 women registered for the event, had an amazing keynote speaker with Dr. Merritt Moore, which was very cool. You know, ballerina and a physicist, like who does that, right? I know, right. And she goes back and forth between two full-time amazing hard careers. But what I have found with ACW, when I moved into this general manager role almost three years ago, I was really nervous. I had spent my entire career in sales and going from sales to running an entire business, there are skill sets that you don't have, right? And P&L always scared the daylights out of me. Well, there's a lot of women on ACW that were really supportive and very mentoring and had become friends and wanted to see me succeed. And what you find through ACW is you immediately have a, a, a friend group. So if you're new to channel, you go to, you belong to ACW, all of a sudden you walk away and you've got 10 new friends. It's so true. You know, and connections with a hundred other people. And it's just an amazing organization and it means so much to me. And I wish that I had known about it 13 years ago, right? right? You know, so I think about, I've been very active in it since, since coming over to the channel partners side of the house. Um, And I would attend but really getting involved in the past four years. And it's been such an honor to take it from the small little meeting room. I'm like, well, I have Paul and I put it on our (laughs) keynote stage, right? So true. And so that's been a a joy to watch that blossom. It really has been a joy to watch it blossom. And it's been a joy to watch you too grow. Thank you. Um, You're totally crushing it. I mean, we're here at the biggest channel partners ever. Do you believe that? I know. Because of your leadership. So thank you. Congratulations to you, Kelly. Thank you. And congratulations to everyone at Informa Tech and Channel Partners, Channel Futures. We're so honored to be your partner um, at this amazing event. So if you're here at Channel Partners, be sure to stop by our booth. We are right 
in front of the CP Expo sign here in fabulous Las Vegas. And Kelly, is there anything else you want to add? The only thing I would be remiss if I didn't mention, I have an amazing team. You do. And nobody does this on their own. So true. And building and fostering and mentoring an incredible team is the reason that this has happened. We found the secret recipe okay. to the success of Channel Partners, and I'm not willing to give that recipe away. You never <laughs> give away building your, into that. Yep, never give away your secret sauce, <laughs> right? Um, well, where can viewers go to learn more? So um, to learn more about our business as a whole, if you go to channelfutures.com, there's a number of tabs at the top where you can learn about our research reports. You can learn about all of the events that we're doing, mm -hmm. as well as stay on top of all of the news and information. So channelfutures.com. When does the MSP 501 come out? So the MSP 501, um, we are have extended the application period oh, through to did. May 15th figures. <laughs> we extended it to May 15th just because it was supposed to close by we're all here. So right, a lot of yeah. people are here. So two more weeks, about two more weeks that folks can submit. And then we publish those results in July. Also two more weeks to get in those MSP 501 applications. Absolutely. So thank you for extending that. Of course. And thank you so much, Kelly, for joining oh, us you. today for another fabulous episode of JSA TV live from the biggest and the best channel partners event to date here in fabulous Las Vegas. Happy networking.